Hi everyone, it's Minnie from Butterbee Scraps. As promised, here I am with a tutorial. I wanted to show you guys how to dress up the glass crystals that I have in my store. Um, you can just add a jump ring and hang them off of a charm. That look, They look pretty that way. But what I'm going to do is show you how to add a little bit more of a decorative top to these. So you can add a round hole and wrap some wire. You can't even see where the wire goes through the crystal. So I think it just adds a really, really pretty cap to it. I'll also go into a little bit more detail and show you how you don't have to stop at a cap. You can continue wrapping the wire, do spirals, all sorts of fun stuff to really dress these things up and make them look really pretty. Um, you can then use them on a charm, hang them off the binding of a mini album, or earrings, how great would it be and how personalized is it to create a pair of earrings with some wire, some of your own wire wrapping on it. So anyways, let me get set up here and I'm going to show you how to do these. Okay, so to do this you're obviously going to need some crystals and some wire. Um, I like using 20 gauge. 22 gauge is good as well, however it is not as sturdy as the 20 gauge. Um, I find 20 gauge is easy to work with, yet it's sturdy enough to not kind of distort and get bent if things get bumped around a little bit. So um, I'm going to use the bronze for the goldenrod colored crystal. And I actually couldn't find any of my craft wire, so this is just some silver wire that I got, I'm sure, from the hardware store somewhere. It's not labeled or anything like that, so... But it doesn't matter, I use pretty much anything. So um, once you get the wire and the crystals, you're also going to need some tools. So I'm going to use my bent nose pliers, my chain nose pliers, and I have some round nose pliers. And I do like to use my um, nylon jaw pliers just to straighten my wire and actually I have a five part I think it's a five part charm tutorial what I'll do is I'll put a link to the first video down below in the description box it goes through you know the type of tools to use um, different techniques for creating loops and all that kind of thing it's got a whole bunch of um, great tips right from start to finish. If you've never done charms before, um, you can actually go watch the video and learn how to do them. Um, another thing that I'm going to need is my flush cutters, which I have misplaced somewhere. So let me pause the video and I'll be back when I find them. Okay, so I couldn't find my flush cutters, so I had to break out a new pair. Um, flush cutters in my... Um, other tutorial series I do talk about how they are um, you'll end up gouging them and stuff they are a tool that constantly needs replacement one of the nicest sets I found believe it or not these are just Walmart specials and I think they give a nice straight cut um, go to my other tutorial video and I'll show I'll talk about different things that you gotta watch for when you buy these but the difference between the flesh cutters and the wire cutters is that when you cut with the flush cutters you get a nice square end at the end of the wire whereas standard wire cutters I don't know if you can see the bevel on the blades there um, you will actually get a like a pointed tip on the end of your wire so I like using the flush cutters for finishing off so okay so I'm gonna start wrapping the yellow crystal and I'm, I'm gonna cut myself a piece of wire um, I don't like to cheat myself so I'm gonna go with 18 inches, which is probably way too much, but like I said, I don't like running up short. And you can always use the ends for something else. So I'm going to use my nylon jaw pliers to straighten the wire a little bit. Then you string your crystal onto your wire. Okay, and you want it about in the center. So what I do is I just take the ends together and it's a little uneven on the ends but you know what it doesn't matter. So now you just want to bend your wire tightly on your crystal 
and you can see that I'm pushing from the base because you get a much tighter wrap on your crystal that way like that as opposed to pulling from the ends and you get some wonky stuff going on sometimes okay now I'm going to take my chain nose pliers and I'm going to bend both wires up at 90 degrees and I want them going straight up about in the center of the crystal but definitely I want them to be pointed up one on top of one another if you know what I mean here I'll show you in a sec here see so that they're both together and about in the middle of the crystal now I found that if you try to put your loop too far up especially because you're going from a very skinny wire to a big crystal it looks kind of wonky so you want to keep your loop fairly close to your crystal so basically I take my chain nose pliers sorry my bent chain nose and I grab it as close to the bottom or as close to the crystal as I can and then bend over at 90 degrees so you have that then you take your round nose pliers and you grab the wire on the not right on the corner a little bit on the top side but not too much and then wrap both wires around to create the loop and notice how I'm pushing from the base of the wire because you get a much tighter loop sorry I cut my thumb the other day so I'm just trying to work around <laughs> that cut it's not so easy okay so now you have this and I always change to my non-dominant hand and then we start wrapping and I find to get a nice even wrap around the stem here I I wrap one wire at a time otherwise I get them kind of jumping on top of each other and I don't like that so you're going to start wrapping and you want to try to keep the crystal in one position if you can because otherwise your wraps are going to get loose right now we're starting to wrap right on top of the crystal here kind of maybe this can be a little bit tricky to get looking nice and even and you definitely want to keep wrapping until you know the original wire in the hole is covered up and you don't want to get mixed up <laughs> on these wires you want to make sure that you're always wrapping the top one first like the one that's closest to the loop first okay and now I've covered the um, the wire and I can keep going as far as I want or I can stop right there if I like um, let me see here I see there's a slight scratch on this side so actually I think this side looks much nicer but I'm thinking I want to keep going a little bit I don't know why and you know what if you end up wrapping further than you like you can always unwrap after I think that's pretty good so now what you want to do is make sure I want this to be the front of my crystal so you make sure you end the wraps on the back so the top one I'm gonna cut pretty close to where you want them the ends hidden at least a little bit and I don't clip them both at the same point this one here I'll clip a little bit further back 
like this. And notice how I had the flat end of the pliers towards the crystal because then that's where you get your nice sharp flat cut. And then I'm just going to use my nylon jaw pliers to tuck those ends so that they're not sticking out anymore. And there you have it. And that, I think, is much prettier than just having um, an O-ring. Put it down there. Okay, so building on this idea, if you have, I didn't notice this crystal had a flaw in it to start, but um, this blue one does. Or if you drop it and chip it or whatever, you can always add a little bit fancier touch to this. You can keep wrapping, do spirals, swirls, that kind of thing. So let's do that with the blue one. And I want, I used 18 inches last time. I really don't want to be short. I'm going with like 30 inches, which is like a crazy amount, but I got this wire, I'm pretty sure, at the hardware store, so it was uber cheap. So again, we're going to thread this on to the wire. And this, I apologize in advance if I start hitting the camera with the wire, because it is a lot to work with. Oh, I got it found approximately the center. Again, I'm going to bend these up at 90 degrees in about the center of the crystal. seems maybe just a little bit finer than 20 gauge, but that's okay. It's a little bit easier to work with that way. So folding over at 90 degrees again. Use my round nose pliers to create a loop and again just on top of the bend there. Normally, I would be able to push this in tighter, but again, there's a cut on my finger. There we go. I just did what I told you guys not to do. Oh, well. Okay, so there's our loop. And I am going to start wrapping. And I should mention... It is a really good idea to wear some sort of glasses when you're doing this because especially when you're working with a long wire like this it's very easy to poke yourself in the eye and also when you're cutting the ends off little bits go flying so Okay, so now I have covered up where the wire goes through the crystal there. Now you can do all sorts of funky things if you like. Um, I think I'm going to keep this pretty simple. Um, and I'm going to do a loose spiral around the crystal with a bit of a drop off the bottom. So I'm just going to start widening my spiral as I come down the crystal. And again, 
you want to push at the base of your wire. Sorry guys, I have my window open. Um, let me see. So, what I've done is I've decided that I'm going to drop a spiral down here. So I don't know how much, oh, let's say a couple inches. Cut that off. And what I do is I take my round nose pliers, grab it as close to the end as I can, and wrap. And you can see there's a little straight end there. I nip that off with my flush cutters because I don't want my I want my spiral to be nice and round. I don't want it to be oblong. And I'm going to leave my spiral with a little bit of a hole in the middle. You can tuck the end in so that it's really tight. But I think I want a hole. And then I use my bent nose pliers and just wrap the wire in on itself. And I'm just, you know what, I'm just playing with it until I get a shape that I like. And I know I'm not making it look easy either. I kind of like having a little, few little kinks at the end. And with this guy, I'm just going to wrap around the other wire here. Which helps hide some of the kinks that I don't like. And I think we'll do a smaller spiral going in the other direction. So I'm going to cut, it was a two inch length last time, we're going to go with just a little under an inch. And you, you don't necessarily have to wrap in the opposite direction. You can always turn the spiral afterwards. And this one, I want a nice, nice tight closed center on it. So you saw how I closed in the end there. Now we're going to wrap as tight as we can. And I 
think I'm wanting this one up higher. Like so. Just put a little kink in like that. That's not too bad. Sometimes you have to do a little fiddling to make sure the wire stays in place on the crystal too. And there are ways to tighten, like some of this wrapping is a little bit uh, loose. It wants to come off the end there. You can easily tighten that up by, let me see where I want this. I'm going to grab this and you give the wire a twist like this. So it adds a little bit of interest and it really tightens the wire up. And I'll give another one over here. That's not going anywhere. And there you have it. You have your crystal which is wrapped and I don't quite like the position of this loop so let's do that. There we go. So you have your crystal that's wrapped and you can continue wrapping. Put spirals down below, spirals on the crystal, however you want. And um, yeah, so anyways, just wanted to show you some more wire wrapping. Sorry, it was a bit awkward there. Um, hopefully you learned something from it. And like I said, go check out my other charm tutorial. Now, it doesn't actually go into any details about wire wrapping or anything like that but it shows you how to do the loops how to create from start to finish one of the big chunky charms um, show you that looks kind of something like this so anyways hope you guys enjoyed and i didn't bore you to death thank you so much for watching and have a great day